When we launch into a, a piece of music or an exercise or a groove, sometimes it, it can be very complex or very overwhelming in the beginning. So your teacher or your director might say, well, break it down, you know, play it slow, this or that. Well, that's easier said than done. So what does break it down mean? Well, break it down can mean a lot of different things. It can mean uh, taking a 16 bar piece and breaking it up into four bar chops, you know, a four bar phrase or a two bar phrase. Breaking it down could mean uh, taking one measure and really going measure by measure and, and really working out the rhythms of the measure. Um, breaking it down could also mean uh, subdividing, really paying attention to the subdivision. Now what's subdivision? Well, subdivision is if I have 16th note rhythms in my phrase, I want to subdivide and be thinking 16th notes. Um, I found that oftentimes there's problems where uh, players are trying to play 16th note rhythms, 8th note and 16th note rhythms, and they're only thinking quarter notes in terms of their counting. So a lot of problems can be headed off if you have the subdivision happening. One E and a two E and a one E and a two. If I'm not thinking in my head and I'm just thinking one, two, one, two, there's a bigger chance for error and for sloppiness and for being inaccurate. So take things slowly, subdivide, break larger pieces into smaller pieces, four bar phrases, two bar phrases, and then really pay attention to how all the rhythms relate. How does the quarter note rhythm relate to the eighth notes? And how does that relate to the sixteenth notes? So breaking it down can mean subdividing, uh, breaking the phrase down in, in a smaller increment, and of course taking things nice and slow and building up speed and building up confidence.